Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Dawn Michael. Today we're going to be discussing something that you may not be able to get the information on the internet because some people don't know what questions to ask. And that is things they don't tell you about divorce. So before we get started, uh, if you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and of course leave your comment. So this video is not about uh, judgment. It's not about should you get a divorce or not to get a divorce. I'm really just going to give you information on some of the problems that people have going through divorce, some of the things that you can avoid if you're thinking of getting a divorce, and maybe after listening to this video, maybe you will decide to work on your marriage and not get a divorce. So those are kind of the three areas. So first of all, I'm going to tell you some of the scary stories when it comes to divorce. And really, this is going to involve this part if you have kids. Because the problem is, if you decide to get a divorce and you don't agree with your spouse on everything, the courts will take over. And when this happens, many times parents lose the ability to parent. It becomes in the hands of the court system. To the point where the mediator, where you and your spouse may be visiting, if you don't agree on specific terms, they will decide them for you. They will decide how often you can see your children, how often the scheduling is. They may ask you both to go through a parenting class, which can be costly, which if you don't go through, they may decide to give one of the other parents more parenting time. They may ask you to go through a psych evaluation. They may tell you that your child is a particular age and you can only see them for this amount of time or that amount of time. Or they may tell you the exact schedule you can have, whether it's two days on, five days off, exchanging weeks, exchanging weekends. If you and your spouse can't decide ahead of time on any of this, the court will take over and decide for you. It becomes basically a parenting nightmare because every time the two of you don't agree on something, you have to end up going back to mediation. <clears throat> Some of the worst stories that I have heard is when Child Protective Services gets involved. And that's if a parent decides that they want to call Child Protective Services um, on the other parent for whatever reason. And the Child Protective Services decides that both parents cannot uh, provide for their children. And this may be true and this may not be true at all. And they may actually take your children from you and put them in foster care. And sometimes parents don't even get their children back. So these are some of the horror stories about divorce with kids going through the court system. Now, again, it depends on which state you're in, but the reality is it can happen in any state. And even if it's a state that says it's a 50-50 uh, split, that doesn't always mean that that's going to happen either. Um, so I have seen many things in, in my time over the years where you think one thing's going to happen and something completely opposite happens. So if you are in a situation where you decide that it's time for you to get a divorce, the best possible thing that you and your spouse could do is to avoid the family courts at all cost. So what you would do is, is the two of you would hire a mediator. And that mediator will help you decide on your finances, how to divide the finances, and that mediator, mediator will also help you decide on the time that you spend with your children and be flexible as they grow older. And that way you don't have to go through the court system. You don't have to go through the child support system. And if you have been married for over 10 years, um, this will also involve spousal support. And that could be another thing that couples fight over. And it's another thing where couples can get involved in the legal system. And really the problem with that is you end up paying the lawyers almost all the money you have. And in the end, 
you're not getting any more. Your lawyer's the one who made the money, and both you and your ex are left pretty much penniless. So if you think that maybe one spouse is not being fair um, or that you have a grievance, do your best to try not to get involved with lawyers or the court system. Um, because again, you really lose control. Everything gets heated, and in some instances, the lawyers make it much worse. If you're lucky to find a mediator that is a lawyer that doesn't escalate the situation and can work with the two of you on coming up an agreement, that's really um, that's a positive thing because then they can just you know take care of ending the divorce without getting family court involved. And that's really what you want to avoid at all cost is getting involved with family court. Now, if this has opened up some more questions for you, which I hope it has, then you'll be able to search more uh, in your state as to how your family court system is set up. Now, if we're talking about other alternatives, let's say that you're on the fence about getting a divorce. So it may not be that you end up having a choice once you get a divorce if your spouse then decides that they are going to hire a lawyer and that they're not happy with the situation because once they hire a lawyer, it automatically forces you to hire a lawyer and you have to go to family court and go through it could be years of the court system. So if you think that your spouse is somebody who won't negotiate with you, who isn't reasonable, who maybe has some kind of psychological issue, uh, it really is um, maybe the best bet to maybe live in the same house and come up with some guide rules until the children are older or to try to get some help with counseling. Uh, find another counselor if you've been through counseling. You know, do what you can to stay in the situation until the kids are a little bit older. Um, if you feel that you can work on your marriage and that the two of you are interested and you can find some way to, you know, work through your grievances, the grass really isn't greener on the other side if you're going to be involved in the court system for the next, you know, two, three, four, five, six, ten years of your life. Uh, sometimes it's best to work through the marriage, work out your problems if both people are willing to do it, and stay in the marriage. Uh, sometimes it does end up working out for the best, and couples make that ultimate commitment that they really are going to do everything that they can, and... Um, and they work through it. I do understand there's certain situations where sometimes you can. If there's abuse involved, uh, neglect involved, if there's terrible cheating involved, then there's just circumstances where divorce is really the only option, um, especially if the children are already in the middle of the relationship where there's so much screaming and fighting and everything going on that it's just emotionally horrible for everyone, then it is best for the two of you to get a divorce. But it really is best if you can find a mediator and again, not go through the legal system. And you can even watch this video with your spouse because sometimes it helps to hear some of the horror stories and let go of the anger and realize that if you have children, going through the divorce court and the family court system is going to have a toll on them. Uh, sometimes, you know, they are forced to go to counseling themselves. They have to leave their school. They have to leave their friends. They get pulled in between mom and dad. They don't know, you know, who to trust, what to do, if the parents are talking bad about the children. So, you know, if you're two adults, and you have a child, please be mindful of not using the child to get back at the other person and putting the child in a, in a, in a position where they're not in harm's way. Uh, sometimes kids really do 
get caught in the middle and it can affect them for the rest of their lives. So again, um, if you can work through the marriage, work through the marriage. If you decide you can't, find a mediator. You can even find a lawyer that's a mediator that the two of you can meet with to kind of work out some of the rough spots with the financial aspect of it. And hopefully this will help you if you were deciding maybe of thinking of getting divorced, some of the areas to look into and some of the possible um, pitfalls. Because truly, you may not think it, it could happen to you, but if you do get involved in the family law system, anything can happen. You can get a judge that sees something one way that you don't see. You could get a mediator in the court that decides that maybe the children shouldn't be with you, um, that perhaps you are not working enough to support your spouse and want you to work more. It could be that they have you, again, go through a psych evaluation, parenting classes, and so they put all of these things on you uh, before you can even see your children. So that is something that they do not tell you when you are thinking of going through a divorce. So if you have found this video important to you, please share it with other people. Uh, I think it's good to get this information out. Knowledge is always um, more power. You know, the more knowledge that you have of a situation, the more that you're able to do something about it. And please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave your comment. As you know, I believe everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life and so do you.